good morning children welcome back to our mass online class open your textbook page number 133 see here proper improper fractions and mixed numbers here now we are going to discuss about proper improper fractions and mixed numbers look at the following fraction here are the fractions see here 1 by 3 2 by 5 2 by 3 5 by 13 17 by 19 in each of these fractions the numerator is lesser than the denominator here the numerator here is the denominator numerator is lesser than the denominator such fractions are called proper fractions if the numerator is lesser than the denominator which type of fraction it is yes it is proper fraction next 7 by 2 4 by 3 5 by 3 19 by 4 8 by 5 in each of these fractions the numerator is greater than the denominator here the numerator is greater than the denominator such fractions are known as improper fractions here such fractions are called which fractions improper fractions numerator is lesser than the denominator means it is proper fraction numerator is greater than the denominator means it is improper fraction points we have to remember these points okay children see here learn fractions having the numerator lesser than the denominator are called proper fractions here are the proper fraction numerator lesser than the denominator see here numerator lesser than the denominator for example he, see here is here numerator is small number and the denominator is big number so this 2 by 5 is the which fraction it is proper fraction now fraction having the denominator lesser than the numerator are called improper fractions denominator lesser than the numerator denominator is lesser than the numerator means which which fraction it is improper fraction see here one example 19 by 4 19 by 4 means numerator is big number and the denominator is small number so 19 by 4 is the improper fraction children are like numerator ganka chinna number undanko paina unna number chinna dunte it is proper fraction paina unna number ganka big number unte it is improper fraction children now see look at this diagram is here are the four squares are there in one square it divided into four parts one two three four here total all the parts have the lines no so it belongs to one here one two three three parts are there so we have to write three as a numerator and total how many squares are there four are there so we have to write the four in denominator any squares unnayane di denominator lo raayali ila any ki boxes ki lines draw chesamo adi numerator lo raayali so three by four now it is a mixed numbers see here first figure is shaded fully first figure is shaded fully second figure is shaded only three parts hence it is three by four here the second part is shaded only three parts so it is called as a three by four total parts shaded in these two figures is one and three by four how many parts are there here total this in in these two figures here are the one and here are the three by four one and three by four we write one and three by four as one three by four ela rasta manda manam dinni one three by four we have to write this number into mixed numbers we write one and three by four as one three by four now turn the page page number 134 just only turn one page look at this number line here now we are going to look at this number line we already know how to draw the number line no yes now we are going to discuss about in fraction number line fraction number line we know that normal number nine number line but here are the fa fraction number line 0 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 4 by 4 4 by 4 means numerator and denominator are two numbers are same no that's why 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 1 by 1 equals to 1 so here we have to write only 1 
5 by 4, 6 by 4, 7 by 4, 8 by 4, 8 by 4. See here children, 8 by 4. 8 by 4 means in 4 table, 2 numbers are there. 1's, 2's. In denominator, 1 is there means there is no value. So here we have to write only 2. 9 by 4, 10 by 4, 11 by 4, 12 by 4. 12 by 4 also 1, 3. In numerator, 1 is there means there is in sorry in denominator 1 is there means there is no value so we have to write only number 3 so here 1 2 3 it is divided into 3 parts how many parts it is divided 1 2 3 3 parts each part is divided you can see each part is divided further into 4 equal parts each part is divided into 4 equal parts 4 by 4 equals to 1. Already I told here 4 by 4 equals to 1. Why? Because 4 1s are 4, 4 1s are 4. 1 by 1 equals to 1. 5 by 4 equals to 1 and 1 by 4 are 1, 1 by 4. See here 5 by 4 is there now. Here 1 is there. Again 5 by 4 means 1 by 4 also. We can calculate this 1 by 4 also. Why? Because 1 after here we have to continue for 1. 1 by 4 now is 1 by 4. 5 by 4 equals to 1 and 1 by 4. How it, is, it will convert it into mixed fraction? 1, 1 by 4. Next, 6 by 4 equals to 1 and 2 by 4 are 1, 2 by 4. See here children, 6 by 4 is here the number. After 1, how much this number is? 1, 2. 1, 2. 2 no? That's why it is, it's also called as 2 by 4. Here are the 1 and 2 by 4. So 1 and 2 by 4 are 1, 2 by 4. Next, see here 7 by 4 equals to 1 and 3 by 4 are 1, 3 by 4. 7 by 4 belongs to 3 by 4 also. Okay children, how many? Here are the 1. After 1, again we have to start here 1 by 4, 2 by 4. 3 by 4. That's why this number belongs to which number? S. 3 by 4. Next you see children. 8 by 4 equals to 2. 8 by 4 means here which number is there? Add up. S. 2 is there no? S. We have to write here 2. 9 by 4 equal to 2 and 1 by 4 are 2. 1 by 4. 9 by 4 means after 2. Here we have to write which number it belongs to? S. 2. After 1, these numbers are 1, 2. Like that we have to write. And again after 2, here also we have to write this belongs to 2. And this number is there no 9 by 4. This number belongs to 1 by 4. Here how we will write 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4. No, like that also here also 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4 we have to write. So here 2, 1 by 4, 2, 1 by 4. Okay children, hence 1, 1 by 4. 1, 2 by 4, 1, 3 by 4 and 2, 1 by 4 are called mixed numbers, mixed fractions. Here are the mixed fractions. Mixed fraction consists of a whole number and a proper fraction. Mixed fraction consists of how? It consists of a whole number and a proper fraction. See, this is the whole number and 1 by 4 is the proper fraction. 1 is a whole number and 1 by 4 is a proper fraction. Here also 1 is a whole number and 2 by 4 is a proper fraction. 1 is a whole number, 3 by 4 is a proper fraction. Tell me children here which is the proper fraction and which is the whole number? Yes, very good. 2 is the whole number and 1 by 4 is the proper fraction. Next to topic is to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. See, what is that mixed number into an improper fraction? An improper fraction. Now we are going to convert the mixed number into improper fraction. First one, convert 2 1 by 3 to an improper fraction. Now we are going to convert 2 1 by 3 into improper fraction. See here, here is a circle. The circle divided into three parts. 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Here the circle divided into how many parts? Three parts. Here also, this circle also divided into how many parts? Three parts. Here, only one part is there. There are seven one-thirds. 
How many are there? 1, 2, 3. Here are the 3. 4, 5, 6. And here 7. Total how much? 7 are there. 2 into 3, 1 thirds. How many are there? 2 into 3, 1 thirds. Plus 1, 1 third equal to how much? How much total is how many? 1 by 3 is are there. 7, 1 by 3 is are there here. This can be written out like, how we will write this one? Here how many are there? Two circles are there, no? Yes, we have to write first two, two circles. And remaining one part is there, no? What is this part? 1 by 3. Here we have to write 1 by 3. Now, this is a mixed fraction. We have to convert this into the which fraction? Yes, improper fraction. See here, 3, 2, 1 by 3 equals to Here 3, here 2. In between these two numbers, in between these two numbers, we have to keep into. Okay, in between these two numbers, we have to keep plus. So, see here children, 3 into 2 plus 1, 3 into 2 plus 1, we will write like this also. 2 into 3 plus 1 also we will write. See here. 2, 3 is a 6 plus 1. 6 plus 1 by 3. Denominator is constant by 3. Total 6 plus 1 is equals to how much? 7 by 3. 7 by 3. Now see here some key points. To convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. Now, here what we are doing children. Mixed number into an improper fraction. No? Here are the three points. We have to follow these three points to find out the improper fraction. Multiply the whole number and the denominator. What we have to do first? Multiply the whole number to the denominator. Whole number to the denominator. And Add the numerator to the product. Add the numerator to the product. Write the sum which is now the numerator under the same denominator. Now we have to write the sum as a numerator and under the same denominator. The denominator is constant. No need to change the denominator. See here children. 6, 3 by 5 is there now. See here I am writing 6, 3 by 5. At first, what is we have to do? Multiply the whole number and the denominator. First, we have to multiply the whole number to the denominator. Add the numerator to the product. Add the numerator to the product. Here, we have to keep the plus. See, 5, 6 are how much? 5, 6 are 30. 30 plus 3 is equals to 33. And next, to see here, children. The third point, the numerator under the same denominator. The denominator is same. So, here 5 is there and here we have to write 5. Once again, I am repeating. See children, multiply the whole number and the denominator. We have to multiply whole number to the denominator. Add the numerator to the product. Next one, add the numerator to the product. Product means here we have to multiply. No? S1 answer will come. No? That is the product. Write the sum which is now the number, the numerator under the same denominator. The denominator is same. Here we have to add the product to numerator. That is 33. 33 by 5. See here. 6 into 5 plus 3 by 5 is equals to 33 by 5. To convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. Now we are going to discuss about we the to, to convert an improper convert fraction an improper into a number, mixed number. Into a mixed number. Improper fraction into a mixed number. See here first we have to follow here four rules are there. We have to follow these four rules. What is the first one see children? Uh, see in your textbooks. Open your textbook 135. And now see in your textbooks where I am telling see. Yes, here box is there, no? Yes, in that box, the four points are there. Listen carefully. Divide the numerator by the denominator. What we have to do? First, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. Write the quotient as a whole number part. What we have to do? Write the quotient as a whole number part. Here, we have to write the quotient is there, no? Yes, quotient as a whole number part. 
write the remainder as a numerator of the fraction part here remainder is there no as that remainder we have to write the numerator part remainder as a numerator part quotient as a whole number part write the divisor as a denominator of the fraction part write the divisor as the denominator of the fraction part Div divisor is there no that divisor we have to write it into the denominator of the fraction part see divide the numerator by the denominator numerated by the denominator first we have to do the division afterwards quotient will get no that quotient we have to write the whole number part and remainder is numerator divisor is denominator now see here one example convert 11 by 7 as mixed number here we have to convert the 11 by 7 as a mixed number this is a improper fraction now we are going to convert this into the mixed number see here divide the numerator by the denominator what is the rule first one divide the numerator by the denominator no yes see here is the numerator divide the denominator 11 divided by 7 11 divided by 7 no in 7 table 11 is there or not there not there that's why we have to take the small number so here see children 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 in between these two numbers 11 is there that's why here we have to take 7 ones are 7 ones are 7 11 minus 7 is equals to how much 7 after 8 9 10 11 how many are there 4 see here 7 ones are 7 the remainder is 4 the quotient will be 1 and the remainder will be 4 what is the quotient here 1 and the remainder is 4 divisor is 7 now here we have to convert no well yes, see children 11 by 7 equals to what we have to write see here children write the quotient as a whole part no what is the quotient here quotient is a 1 we have to write the quotient as a which one whole part next one write the remainder as a numerator write the remainder as a numerator so here we have to write 4 next write the divisor as a denominator divisor as a denominator see here children 11 by 7 equals to 1 4 by 7 ok now see children convert the following mixed numbers into improper fraction what we have to do here we have to convert the mixed numbers into improper fraction see here what is this 1 1 by 4 this is a mixed fraction to which convert we have to convert it into improper fraction see here what is this question 1 1 by 4 I already told my children what we have to do first we have to write the denominator number afterwards into 1 here 1 is there no 4 into 1 4 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 by what is the denominator number 4 no simply write 4 here 4 into 1 4 1 is a 4 4 plus 1 is equals to how much 5 what is the denominator number 4 see children again here we have to do these two numbers multiplications okay these two numbers multiplication 4 into 1 again plus 1 plus 1 see children 4 into 1 plus 1 4 into 1 plus 1 by denominator number is constant we have to write only 4 4 into 1 means 4 ones are 4 plus 1 means 5 by 4 children in chalikra you can denominator into whole number of the other he whole number 11 to 1 make easy 4 into 1 plus 11 to 1 make easy 4 into 1 plus 1 4 into 1 plus 1 by 4 you denominator number pattern constant parane only so what is the solution 5 by 4 next one 2 3 by 4 what is the question children 2 3 by 4 is the question see here what i told here we have to keep into and here we have to keep plus Okay, children, see here. E rendit it much low into rand. E rendit it much low plus rand. E ziga put under the e the miku key and mata under note chess puny point. E rendit it much low into rand. E rendit it much low plus rand. So you put it la, it allow on the circle of the jiddle. It allow on the last puny put. Four into 
2 plus 3. Simple no? S by denominator constant no? We have to write 4. See here 4 into 2 plus 3. 4 into 2 plus 3. First we have to keep here into and afterwards here we have to keep plus. 4 into 2 plus 3. 4 into 2 plus 3. How much? 4 2 is S. For 1 is 4. 4 2 is 8. 8 plus 3. 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 by 4 is the denominator. Now we have to write simply 4. See here children. 4 into 2 plus 3. 4 into 2 plus 3 by 4. 11 by 4. Next. Third sum. See here what is the question 3? 3 by 9. See the question 3. 3 by 9. H upon ikada. Here in between 3 and 9 we have to keep into. In between these two numbers we have to keep plus. See here. 9 into 3 plus 3 by 9. 9 into 3 plus 3. 9 into 3 plus 3. Okay, children, 9 3 is a how much? 9 3 is a 27. 27 plus 3, 27. 28, 29, 30. 30 by, what is this denominator number? 9, simply we have to write 9. See here, children, in between 3 and 9, we have to write into. Multiplication of these two numbers, so we have to write into. And between these two numbers, we have to write plus. 3 into Sorry, 9 into 3 plus 3. 9 into 3 plus 3 by denominator what? Constant number. What is the constant here? 9. Here also 9. Now here also we have to write denominator 9. 9 3 is a 27 plus 3 is equals to 30 by 9. Second number. Convert the following improper numbers into mixed numbers. In first of all, what we did is mixed fraction into improper fraction. Now here we have to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. See here the first number 9 by 5. 9 by 5. See the question 9 by 5. What here we have to do? See 9 by 5 is there no? Yes, what I told in introduction? For converting into improper numbers into mixed fraction, we have to do the division. So here denominator is there no? First we have to write denominator and numerator. What we have to do? Here we have to do the division. 5 ones are 5. 5 by 9 is equals to how much? 4. 5 by, sorry, 5 minus, 9 minus 5 is equals to how much? 4. 9 minus 5 is equals to 4. See here, what we have to do? First quotient is there, no? quotient part is the whole number. Quotient part is the whole number. Here we have to write 1. Denominator is there, no? Yes, denominator is constant. We have to write denominator. What is this? Reminder. Reminder is the numerator. Sorry. Reminder is the numerator. This is numerator. This is denominator. Okay, children, see. You can one quotient of the A quotient, whole number. Mixed fraction of whole number in the color. Yes, that whole number is quotient. And this numerator is there, no? The numerator is, what is the numerator? Remainder is there, no? That is the numerator. And denominator is, as usual, denominator is constant. In first sum also, denominator is constant, no? Here also the denominator is constant. Quotient is whole number. Remainder is numerator. Denominator is constant. And next, see the second solution. 20 by 3. The second sum is 20 by 3. What we have to do here children? We have to convert improper number into mixed number now. See here what we have to do? 20 by 3. And again what? S. 3. 20. Here we have to do the division. Here we have to do division. See children? In, in 3 table 20 is there or not there? Not there. Which number is there? S. 3, 6, 7. 18, 3, 6, 18, 20 minus 18 is equals to how much? 2, 20 minus 18 is equals to 2, see here, what I told, what is this number? This is the quotient, quotient is the whole number and denominator is the constant number and reminder is the numerator, reminder is the numerator, see once again here, 3, 6, 18. 18 plus 2 is equals to 20. Already 
get the answer 20. Chudandi, Uxare, Malaksa Jupnara, Vinandana, denominator in the Kata, E denominator monkey constant in the denominator matra, a pur marudu, Iker quotient a with number of Sadamanki, a number whole partla is called. Okay, now whole number partla is called. Next reminder of Sadara, a reminder name numerator la is called. Reminder name numerator la is called. Next, see third question. See the set third one. 105 by 11. 105 by 11. 105 by 11. Here we have to do the division of 105. In, one, in 11 table, 105 is there or not there? Not there. No, but 11 into 10. 11 10 is how much? Big number, no? So here we have to take the small number. 11 into 9. 11 into 9 is 99. Here we have to take 9 99. 99 after 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So here 6. Okay, 105 minus 99 is equal to how much? 6. 105 minus 99 is equal to 6. Now see here children. Yes. Denominator is constant number. And quotient is there. Now where we have to write quotient? Quotient, we have to write it into whole part here. Whole part and reminder here. Reminder is numerator. Quotient, whole part, reminder, numerator and denominator is there not here. The denominator is a constant number. Here we have to write this number. So 105 equals to what is the mixed number? 9, 6 by 11. 9, 6 by 11. And see here, 11 nines are how much? 99. 99 plus 6 is equals to how much? 105. What is the numerator number? 105 now? Yes, we get 105. See the third one, children. Group the following as proper fraction. In proper fraction, mixed numbers. Here are some numbers are there. We have to write these numbers as a group of proper fractions. In proper fractions and mixed fraction. Among these numbers, see here, among these four fractions, which one is the proper fraction number? Yes, proper fraction number has the numerator smaller than the denominator. Numerator number is smaller than the denominator number. So, 5 by 2. Numerator of the number, small number is the denominator number. So, 5 by 2 is a, which number? 5 by 2 is a proper fraction or improper fraction? It is not a proper fraction. But it is improper fraction. Why? Because the numerator is greater than the denominator. What is the definition for improper fraction? Numerator is, which one? Numerator is big number and the denominator is small number. Proper fraction means numerator is small number and the denominator is big number. What is mixed fraction? Mixed number. Mixed number consists of whole number and fraction. Mixed fraction consists of whole number and fraction. See here children. Proper fraction. 5 by 2 is a proper fraction or improper fraction. 5 by 2 is a improper fraction. Here we have to write 5 by 2. And next 3 by 9. 3 by 9 is a proper fraction. And next 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is proper fraction. Why? Because the numerator number is small number. Denominator number is big number. 3 by 2. 3 by 2 is which one? Yes. 3 by 2 is a improper fraction. And next 6, 1 by 6. 6, 1 by 6 is which number? 6, 1 by 6 is a mixed number. 6, 1 by 6. Next 9 by 7. 9 by 7 is a improper fraction. 9 by 7. 1, 1 by 4 is a mixed number. 1, 1 by 4. Next 100 by 99. 100 by 99 is a improper fraction. 100 by 99. Next, 2, 1 by 2. 2, 1 by 2. Next, 77 by 7. 77 by 7 is a improper fraction. 77 by 7. What is the last one? 7 by 77. 7 by 77 is a which one? Improper fraction. Sorry, proper fraction. 7 by 77. See here, children. 5 by 2 is a improper fraction. Well, because the numerator is big number, the denominator is small number. Okay, children, must and should complete your classwork and homework also. If you have any doubts, call me. I will clarify your doubts. 
Thank you. See you in the next class. God bless you children.